What is up, guys and gals? Uh, welcome to another Cars and Coffee. Hopefully, all of you are having a great day. Any of y'all find anything new? Kingna, what's up, buddy? Our area is dry yet again, which I figured. Jeremy Van Meter, happy Sunday to you as well, buddy. Derek Marr, what is up? Yeah, man, I'm glad you could tune in. Uh, I completely forgot what's going to be even in this package. I don't even remember what we even decided on. But let me know what I owe you or what you're looking for, and I'll send it your way, man. Black Cat 209, what is up? Alex Graff, Taki's Car, what is up everybody? Tampa, what is up? I'm trying to see if I can pull this up also on my little fire over here. That way I can just look at comments on here instead of on the phone, but it doesn't look like it's working. Drago, what's up? Superbird Diecast, what's up buddy? Danny, what is up? Welcome to Cars and Coffee. Trying to see, guys. This isn't really working out too well. All right, so I guess I can't read comments on this thing. Jen Ryder, what's up? Tom Brown, what's going on, buddy? Frank, welcome to Cars and Coffee. Um, as the title says, guys, I got two packages, and I thought it would just be best to do it on the live stream. Um, this is from Derek Marr, and then, guys, <laughs> I got another one from Grandpa Larry. This thing is pretty heavy, so... <laughs> I didn't want to do another long video for you guys because I'm still posting another unboxing of casts that I got from the customizer. So that one's not that long of a video. It's like 26 minutes. So I didn't want to hit you guys with another like 30 minute long video. So I thought it'd be good to just do this all live. Mike, what's up, buddy? Sammy, my man, what is up? I seen Rapid Nismos up in here too. Yeah, the unboxing never stops. Yeah, that's very true. I'm very blessed and honored to receive such awesome packages from you guys. Um, I mean, I try to do my part and keep up with trades and sending out uh, random acts of kindness packages as well. Um, but I mean, I went to just check the mail today and then I seen these two. I saw this one in the small package. I was like, all right, cool. Um, I remember me and Derek were talking about this and then I forgot that uh, Grandpa Larry had sent me an email, but I thought it was like a couple cars because he was like, hey, there was some that I was going to throw in there, and he threw in this gigantic box. So this is heavy, man. Super heavy. Roberto finally did not miss this live. Yeah, what is up? So I tried to actually advertise it a little bit early to kind of remind everybody. Um, it's 2 p.m. every Sunday, so at least my wife already knows like the plans. Daughter takes her nap. Rebecca, she says, I'm sorry I haven't sent my package. No worries. If you don't, you don't. I mean, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I definitely appreciate it. But like I said, there is no rush. There's no worries. I'm not going to hate you because you never sent a package. It is what it is, guys. You know, like we all have our lives. We all have our struggles, our schedules, all that stuff. I get it. Um, so it, it don't bother me. I mean, if you can't send it today, if you can't send it, until two months later, I'm good with that. There's no problem. Kina says, you still have some bone shakers I need to steal from you. Uh, that's a huge negative, my man. <laughs> Andre Cruz, nah, bro, send that package or else. <laughs> the customizer, my man, what's up, dude? Hey, so I'm posting that video of the unbox that you sent me. That was just straight heat, man. Oh my God, you guys. The box that the customizer hooked me up with, insane, insane. I wish the gigantic freaking Cracker Barrel box that I sent him had stuff that was like not in his collection, but my man freaking hustling and he's caught up. He says, I'm just here, finished watching Liver Diecast's mail call. Yeah, uh, I can't wait to see my little Pink Panther destroy his, which I hope it does because I've been talking crap this whole time. Rapinismo says, Mr. Game Show. <laughs> Everybody, Keynote wants y'all to send the package to him instead. 
Jorge Delgado, what up? What up, what up? I think I saw Becca commented again. She's, uh, Becca says, no, I feel bad. Don't feel bad. There's a lot of times where I get behind on packages and I feel horrible. So I guess you could feel horrible, I guess. I mean, it's 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 human nature. Uh, Rapid says, me and Keena had a, had a nice little discussion. I still forgot to show him what I wanted, though. <laughs> guess y'all did the live. Live little chat. Becca asks, is it okay if it's loose? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm starting to really enjoy getting loose packages um, because I don't have to go through all the dirty work and the emotions of having to unbox it. So if it's loose, that is perfectly cool. You guys already seen the shelf that I made um, for some loose die cast. So yeah, go ahead. If it's loose, that's fine. Rudy from Belgium, what is up? Everybody welcome Rudy to the stream. Another successful cars and coffee with the mustang hunter and the mustang hunter family uh, and by the way yes this is coffee it is hot in arizona but i got the ac going uh superbird asks if anyone found anything today um i found two things three things actually um which i'll go over in a little bit nothing crazy i was actually excited for one of them two of them actually Sammy, wow, you really drinking coffee. What time is it there? It is 2 p.m. And yes, I have to drink coffee because the title says cars and coffee. So can't be misleading and I can't um, false advertise. So could be water. I don't know. But the coffee's not like super hot. It's like drinkable. So it's not too bad. Liver die cast, what is up, my man? Hey, I'm super stoked you got your package, man. Um, I love the fact that you were able to get them, have them in your collection, especially the uh, Kroger exclusives and the red C the red Type R. I'm glad you didn't have those loose. Um, I was kind of hoping, like, if you did, you can just do a custom on it and have fun with it, race them. Um, you'd be surprised. Maybe one of those loose castings will take down everybody on your track. Andre Cruz got my 24 ounce ace <laughs> and AC on blast. Frank says Dollar General special is disappearing fast. Get yours now. Yeah, so I'm waiting on a package. Uh, there's a guy who hit me up on Instagram, and I actually sent him the cash to pick some up for me. Um, so I think he picked up all four variations because I have the Prelude and the Jeep already. Um, but I said, hey, while you're there, if you got them, I'll PayPal you. So I sent him like I sent him a good amount of cash um, just to cover like shipping costs or whatever. So Andre Cruz, I appreciate you. Some of that cash um, helped out with that one as well as covering the package. So appreciate you, my man. Mike's Diecast, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Christina, the Martins are in the house. What is up? Uh, she says, Kingnut might have some Porsches we can send your way. The old blue cards. Ooh. Look at Kingnut networking over here. Becca says, uh, if I do any more trades with you, I'm doing it first. <laughs> no worries, I'm telling you. No worries at all. As you can see, uh, I still have no room. So, it's not like I need to fill up or... Uh, stash him anywhere so it's perfectly fine trust me uh mike martello i've been slacking on pictures on instagram because work really picked up doing my best to keep up it's all good man um i try to post while i'm at work i'm like oh crap i didn't post anything today i'll go through my phone because i save every one of my cars that i have i save them in my photo album and i'll just go through my stream or i'll go through my feed and see like what have i not posted yet and then I'll just post a picture of it. So a lot of times you'll see me posting some old stuff. Um, no, I didn't just find it. It's just I'm catching up with what's in my phone. Um, yep, King Nutter already seen Christina's message. <laughs> Becca says, okay, uh, I'm going to try to send it out today. All right, cool. No worries, though. I'm telling you, don't stress out over it. It's fine. Jorge Delgado says targets are dropping J case. Yeah, uh, we dropped J case last week. I went today, yesterday and today, and it is completely dry. The only thing that is left is the little fun turbo, twin turbo little turtle. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty sweet. Static, what is up, my man? 
trying to catch up on these uh, comments. EJ's workshop. I haven't found anything and still no J case. Yeah, so we had our little wave and it just disappeared. So, um, EJ, I gotta, um, I gotta hit you up on one of those displays, man. I need to figure out how much it is because um, I want to buy one and actually put my premiums in there. So, uh, if you could email me, I would like to see how much they are so I can pay for the shipping or pay for the actual display itself. Um, but I definitely seen it on Old Man Diecast and I think uh, Mark over at Dot to Man Diecast. I think he opened those up. Those are sweet. Um, rapid. More delays on Nissi. Getting to ridiculous point now. Paint shop is full. Looks like we won't have her back in a few more days. It's killing me. I, I know, man. Um, that happened with my Mach 1. Some old dude like kind of like rear-ended me. Just tapped it lightly. And it took like two weeks just to paint a bumper. So... I get it, man. It sucks. Um, no main lines here. Only character cars. Says Tampa. Yeah, yeah. Someone cleared us out like crazy. EJ needs Kroger exclusive. Someone help him. Um, EJ, if I do find some more, I will definitely set them aside and send them over your way. Um, I try to hook up a lot of people with. Kroger exclusives mainly because a lot of people don't have the access to them. I'm always out hunting anyways, and I do always have a good chance of finding it. Um, my wife always jokes me all the time, like I should change my name to Mustang Hunter to just Hot Wheels Hunter, which is kind of true because I do hunt everything. Um, but when I'm on a mission to find a Mustang, I will find it. Jorge Delgado, what do you think of the Ford Mustang going electric? I absolutely, mm, I wouldn't say hate it, um, but it's kind of, I'm not ready for that time period of big block, supercharged, EcoBoost motors going electric. I'm just not ready for it yet. Um, I'm still old school at heart where I just love the sound of the engine, the big blocks, the blowers. Um, yeah, they're going to be super fast, but at the same time, it's it's just a totally new era. Um, now, the Cobra Jet drag car, that thing is insane. Um, but as far as the SUV and all that, maybe if I see it in person, um, I would like it a little bit more. i just never seen one yet. Um, don't get me wrong, I would probably buy one and drive it just for the sole purpose of it is a must I don't even like calling it a Mustang, but it's a Mustang. It's new, it's electric, it's the new way forward for Ford. Um, and it's kind of a historical moment, I'm guessing. Um, it could make or break it, but it seems like a lot of people are buying those up. Hewitt's, my man. He's in the house. He says, out in front with the grandkids and almost missed it. I appreciate you stopping in, buddy. Uh, let's see. Hewitt's El Presidente. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Presidential presidential nominees up in the house. Christy Slevin, what is up? Um, let's see. Hewitt's is saying what's up to everybody, so go ahead and shout Hewitt's up there. Mike, yeah, no J case around him. Yeah, that's that's tough. Um, Derek Moore says, I found a few new, a few of J case, but not much. Um, I just picked up the Supra, the 356 Outlaw, um, the 70 split bumper, the Copo Camaro, and the Skyline 2000. Um, I didn't go find those. Uh, my buddy was out hunting. He actually got a, a few extras, and I was like, hey, man. I will buy them from you. So we met up. I gave him the cash. Um, I gave him some extra cash um, for his birthday. Pretty much, is like, hey, hopefully with this extra cash, you can find yourself a birthday present, mainly a super. Um, and he actually scored three or four supers this morning. Um, and then one of them is going to go to me since he said I technically paid for it. Um, so I bought myself one. He bought himself one. So I was like, hey, happy birthday. <laughs> So I'm going to go meet up with them tomorrow to pick up the Super, and I'll let you guys know what it is. Um, something I've been wanting for a while, and he found four of them, plus two chase cars, I believe it was. Uh, Jeremy Van Meter's organizing his customs as he speaks, or as I speak. Uh, Frank says, you got to get up when it's freshly dumped. Yes, that is very true. 
Yeah, uh, Dotson Man's kind of MIA, but he's probably busy with work. Uh-oh. Jorge Delgado, an employee was pegging up three freshly sealed J cases at my local Target. I scored the Porsche Outlaw. Super nice, dude. Congrats. And also, there is a base variation of the 356 Outlaw. Um, if you don't follow uh, uh, Porsche 164, or is it Porsche Hot Wheel Hunter? I'll put his link down in the description. But anyways, um, this dude is very, very educational as it comes to Porsches. Um, he knows his stuff. And uh, he let me know that there's a base variation. There's one that says 356, and then there's one that says 356A Outlaw. So be aware of that. Um, I gotta find the base variation. Gotta find extra, because I did get that one, but I wanna find another one for him. Um, because he's a variation collector like I am. Um, let's see what else. God, there's a lot of comments, guys. I'm like way behind. Nahal bro says, "Hey, what is up?" Christina, Christina, Becca. I might go to Target today, so I hope J Case is there. Um, good luck. I'm pretty sure you might score a few. If not, just keep hitting up that Target. I saw something. Wife is out hunting around right now. Ooh, she's good at finding treasure hunts. Well, I hope she finds you something good. Uh, liver diecast, will I ever find out what mod you did to the car you sent me to race? I already had a few questions about modded and stock running against against each other. It's It run what you brung. <laughs> All right, so I did not do anything to the interior of that car. I was almost going to put in some small weighted, um, they're not lead strips, but they were like um, stainless steel strips. I was actually gonna line the, the chassis with that just to make it a little more nose heavy, um, just to see if it would do anything. I'm not sure if it would, but I was having a lot of clearance issues between the body, the axle, and the actual chassis itself. So I wasn't able to weigh it. Um, what you have it weighed in at, I think it was like at 30 something, grams that is the factory weight of it um, not counting the paint because um, it's three um, three coats of that pink with one coat of clear so that's gonna probably add like a few grams maybe like a half a gram of weight to it um, but other than that the axles are original wheels are original um, the wheels were never removed so it is as it is um, the only thing I did was just paint the chrome all black detailed the motor added the little spark plugs red added the silver trim on top of the blower and the side exhaust detail and all that stuff so as far as it being a modded racer it is completely a factory weighted car so it should be good um, alex says those races are sweet yes i agree i cannot wait to see my twin mill three annihilate his twin mill and the bone shaker so um, all this crap I'm talking I hope it really pays off I really do I hope it dominates the straight as well as his road course uh, Hewitt says it's all in the paint yep and uh, I was going to polish it up and like buff it just to give a little bit of wind resistant less re wind resistance because you know a lot of drag cars do that but I mean come on it's going like not even a mile an hour. Well, maybe it is going a mile an hour. I don't know. He was says, whoa, not the bone shaker. Oh, yeah. I hope it just blows it out of the water. Um, I was going to make it, um, I might, and I might do this still, um, but I might make it a breast cancer awareness type of car um, because it's pink and I wanted to do that theme. Um, if it wins, awesome. Um, but I do want to do a theme like that, have a custom card on there, just as a tribute to everyone who has dealt with that or anyone that has known anyone that's dealt with it. Just have a special piece, a special custom piece, um, and then do that. So, Kina says, whoa, slow your roll. You have no chance against the Bone Shaker. I'm pretty sure I do, buddy. Pretty sure I do. Um, Game Plan asks, has anyone found the Shelby Super? Um, I haven't found it but I did get it as a random act of kindness. It's back over there. Um, but I'm paying that random act back by giving the super um, that that person was looking for, so. Um, 
Naha, bro. What is up, man? Christy, but I really want it. 69 Stingray, find any core vets lately? Um, I have not found any vets. The last vet I found was the red edition, but since you're on here, I figured you would really, really appreciate these because these are from the Martins. Um, I don't know if you watched my last video of them, but check these beauties out. These are probably my favorite Corvette in my entire collection. Now, don't get me wrong, the C8R, um, a lot of the Grand Sports I do like, the ZR1s, um, even the Z06s, I love those, but these, this generation of Corvette, look at this. That is just wicked. And so, as I was filming it, I was looking at it like, man, it's, it's hot pink. And then as I see it, it looks like a hot orange, but it actually is hot pink if you look at it. So, beautiful Corvettes. These are the only ones that I've gotten recently that are new into my collection. Um, a lot of people have been asking about this one right here. This C8 in red enamel. Really, really nice. It does have the black five spokes with the gold ring. Yeah. Everyone's been asking about this. It's not a Matchbox. I just threw Matchbox wheels on there. But this is the Maisto. It actually had those really cheap and hideous wheels. Um, let me find them. They're in here somewhere. I think I actually cut them up. It had these wheels on it. Look at these. These things are hideous. So I took those off and put on some Matchbox. And this thing looks so good. The axles are custom fitted for it. So it actually has the, the right width. Because um, before they were too tucked in. But you can see it sits nicely now. So there we go. Um, all right, guys, so do you want me to start opening up these packages? Because I'm excited. Well, actually, before we get to that, um, so I did find the new 2018 Challenger hauler. Actually, I found all of them except the Baja Bug, but I ended up picking up this 32 Ford, guys. Look at this. This is so clean. Now, I was super conflicted, so when I found I didn't want the Beamer. I'm not huge on Beamer because I personally drove a Beamer and I hated it. It just fell apart and yeah, I have, I have a bitter spot for Beamers, but I do have them in my collection. Um, but I really wanted the Challenger because I love the Hot Wheels Team Deco. It looked amazing. Um, and I actually hid that at Target because I was like, oh, I'll hide it and then I'll come back tomorrow if I really, really want it. I know where it's at. Um, and then I watched King Nut's video. He said he was looking for it, and I was like, all right, cool. You want it, I'll let you know where I hit it, and you can just take it. So I went back today, and they actually restocked everything. Um, they didn't have the Baja Bug, but the 32 Ford was there, and I was like, oh, my God, I want this so bad because I seen it in his video. Um, and then so I took my daughter with me, and I was like, hey, which one should I get? I, hold it, I held up the Challenger, and I held up the 32 Ford. And she chose a 32 Ford, so I was like, done deal, taking it. Um, eventually, I'll go back and get the Challenger, but I feel like the 32 Ford is going to be the harder one to find because there's a lot of guys like myself, Hewitt, a lot of the older collectors that have been collecting for a long time that have most of the 32 Fords are going to want this. Um, a lot of the newer generation or newer collectors, I'm still considered a new collector, um, are going to be more era appropriate and try to get all the challengers i feel so that is my take that is why i decided on the 32 ford plus this thing just looks super sweet um and then this right here guys i've passed this up before and i wasn't going to pass it up again um, but i found the delorean dmc 12 from back to the future um, this is one of the hollywood rides from jada absolutely love the detail of this thing look at that super super cool and I was like I'm not passing it up um, and the funny thing was this and a couple cars that I got were in the trunk I filled up my five gallon jug of water for the house it fell over water was spilling everywhere and of course the water goes in the bag of all the die cast but luckily nothing was ruined the box did get smashed a little bit and I was like god really like out of all the bags of groceries the water just pours into that one so definitely grab this and then i know a lot of you guys are, a lot of you guys are probably going to hate me for this 
Um, but I picked up this car specifically for the wheels. This one right here, the BMW 2002. So someone was actually hiding this and I found it. I was like, ooh, those wheels are clean. I've passed it up probably two other times. Um, you guys remember the truck that is in that series, the Moon Eyes, which is a beautiful car. But the BMW i8, not so good because the door is a mist, mist shade paint. Um, it is a darker shade and it just looks way off. Um, not a fan of the Land, the Land Rover and the, BM, the BMW just has some really nice wheels on it. Look at that. So this is going to be another car that I'm going to leave the frame and body and then um, we'll send out if anyone wants the body of it. But I just really wanted the wheels. So I know a lot of you guys are like, no, don't take it apart. But I just want the wheels from it. So that is all I found. We're going to go ahead and open up the first box from Derek Marr. <laughs> Rapid says, don't you be talking rubbish about Land Rovers. They're cool, but I'm more of a, I don't know, never been a fan, huge fan of Land Rovers, even though they are nice. Um, the BMW is beautiful. I do have the premium car culture set. Um, with that car in it and it's absolutely nice. That one is very very nice uh, Superbird says I would take it All right, let me see let me go up make sure no one else wants the body uh, Customizer says he wants the frame. Oh Man, all right, you guys are just going to have to I'm gonna do like a random generator to see who gets the body but no promises, guys. No promises. Um, but I do have... Um, these are going to a subscriber who actually emailed me because he really wants these. So this is the, the Audi premium body. All metal that's going to him. I'm also giving him the McLaren premium body. So he's going to get these. Um, I'm also going to throw in the Daytona, the SRT Daytona. The wing is, don't worry about the wing. The wing is right here. It actually just snaps on, snaps off. Hold on. There we go. Got the Daytona. So I'm gonna send that package out to him. Uh, he really wants those. He's never been able to get his hands on anything premium. Um, so I'm gonna send that to him. But the Beamer, just wait on that one, guys. Uh, Andre Cruz says every Land Rover I seen rapid was broke down or being used to co <laughs> for cover fire in the desert. <laughs> oh man, if you drilled that Volvo, I swear says rapid. Well, the 2002 is getting drilled, homie. The customizer says you know I custom everything. Yeah, like I said, man, when I sent you that box, I was hoping you didn't have a lot of those. But at the same time, I was like, if he does, hopefully he can just do some customs um, at the expense of nothing. So you have a lot of customs to do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up Derek Marr, his package that he sent. I don't remember what the discussion was. Derek, if you can just comment on here if you're still in here. Um, let me know because I do not remember. All right, guys. Let's go ahead. It looks like we got a couple casts in here. I like this box. It just comes apart nice and easy. All right, here we go. You ready, everybody? Let's go ahead and see what Derek Marr sent. If you haven't checked out his channel, check him out. Super cool hunter. He sent me a lot of amazing stuff. Um, we've done trades and just another amazing collector. JT, what's up, buddy? We're just unboxing the first box right here. So welcome. Adrian, welcome to the live stream of Cars and Coffee. You made it just in time. I just opened up the first box. All right, guys, here we go. Yes, we got the red 2010 GT. I don't have this color variation. Surprisingly, don't. Look at that. Got the red enamel, the chrome PR5s. Look at that. Nicely done taillights. The 2010s were the only year, I believe, that did the taillight tampos. And then even when you come around the front, look at that, all blacked out. That looks so nice. So the 2010 was the first year of the body change. 
and the last year of the 4.6. So a lot of my buddies bought the 2010s when they first came out, and then the very next year the Coyote came out. So there, a lot of people were pretty mad about that. Um, but this is beautiful. Look at that card. Ah, that is nice. Oh, <laughs> oh, these are sick, dude. Oh man. <laughs> Oh man, check this out. He sent two of these. Now, of course, I gotta keep both of these because one's actually in a slight error. So, King Nut, sorry. But, you got the matte black Carrera GT. Look at that. So, this is my first Carrera GT in my collection. It's matte black. You got the black MC5s with the yellow ring. And of course you do have the yellow stripe running down the center yellow interior and look at this guys look at this detail right there got the tail lights nice and done got the headlights look at that god that looks so good so nice liver die cast hot wheels videos hello and thank you yep all right so let's see uh, any base variations? All right, so no base variation, wheel variation. Um, one just has a missing headlight, half a missing headlight. You guys know I am a error card collector. But yeah, super sweet, man. Appreciate you so much. That is sick. And let me know uh, what you're looking for, what you need, um, and I'll send it your way, my man. So Derek Marr, definitely go check him out. Yeah, those cards are mint. Look at that. Straight edge right there. But definitely stoked for the red GT. All right, guys. So this one's going to be the longer portion of this video. So <laughs> Rapid says, shut up and crack it. Nope. <laughs> so this is from Grandpa Larry. You guys know Grandpa Larry. And he is now my new actual grandpa i adopted him um so let's go ahead and open up this one. Oh, you guys know his last one he sent up was just insane so let's go ahead and open up this box God, i cannot wait guys let's go ahead and i'll bring this down a little bit so you guys can all see with me <laughs> oh he has them numbered again guys save best for last he says all right, let's go ahead and let me make sure his information isn't all blasted up here. Hold on. Hold on real quick. Let's see. Uh, just really, really quick. Just in case. All right. Now we can get back to it, guys. All right, number one. Oh man, you guys ready? You excited? Let me know. Comment you're excited. We'll get this bad boy open. <laughs> Mike Martell says, "Adopt me." Grandpa Larry may be your adopted grandpa, but Hewitt's is my <laughs> is my grandfather. Derek's the diecast father. You and Nut are the uncles. <laughs> Nice. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Number one. Ah, oh, you got the Mustang Mach 1 in orange enamel. And this is a red line one. So I have this, but not with the red line wheels, guys. Look at that. God, that is nice. That is super nice. Oh, man. All right. Oh, the Walmart exclusive. Look at that. I love that he puts the info on there because look at this lime green metallic. Same tribal flame deco, the OH5s all the way around. Look at that. God, this is sick, man. God. Oh, it just makes it it's amazing on how many cars are out there that you just do not know of. Yes, he sent it. 
Oh my god, guys. This is one of the last ones I need. I need one more. And look at this. He left a note right here. It says, two variations. One is tinted windows and the other one is clear, which he kept the clear one, which is perfectly fine. But look at this. The 98 Cobra with the flames and the Hot Wheels Race Series on there. Look at that. What does it say on here? It is Hot Wheels Racing. Yes. It's got the lace wheels on here. Yes, I needed that one so bad. Oh, man. One more to go, guys. And I will have every single 98 Cobra released. And then, oh, wow. Look at this. I wasn't even tracking this one. It's the same one, but black. Kmart exclusive. Look at that. Oh, that is nice, man. Fandom doesn't even have this one listed. Kmart exclusive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at that, guys. The 98 Cobras right here. Rapid says, my question is, what am I to your Mustang? You're like my nephew, man. <laughs> What is the final one I need? It is a uh, blue variation. Actually, let me double check first. Hold on, real, real, real quick. Ugh. Um, it is... All right, so it should be a white one. Um, I actually scratched the blue with flames. I actually got that one in on that five pack that my buddy Mike sent me. Um, but it's a white 98 Cobra. It's not the one with the gold graphics on there because that's a five pack exclusive. Um, it's a white one. I can't remember what the deco looks like, um, but it's very unique. And then right here, guys, check it out. We got Ruby with another wheel variation. You got the PR5s in chrome, but not only is it a wheel variation, it is a base variation too. Check this out. You got the black with the chrome Hot Wheels logo and the chrome with the black. Look at that base variation right there. Oh man, even the glass. Look at that. You got the smoked with the black interior, smoked with the chrome interior. That is sweet. So now I have four variations of Ruby. Oh, Ruby is exceptionally happy for this right now. God, guys. Grandpa Larry. Oh, and that's just number one. Yeah, Ruby, too cool, man. Too freaking cool. All right, number two. Definitely prefer the black interior. Yeah, me too. Definitely like that one a lot. All right, number two. Yeah, I want to see what Grandpa Larry's collection looks like in person. Ruby Tuesday, I like it. <laughs> Raul, my man, what's up? Damn, bro, I need a grandpa like that. <laughs> oh, man. I know someone asked where I filled out an application for Grandpa Larry. <laughs> Oh man, if I can find you an application, I will send it to everybody. What do we got right here? Oh my god, guys. Oh, look at this Redline 68 Nova. Look at that metallic purple. Oh, that is a beauty. And it is a Redline with the flame, circle flame, and you got it right there, the tire flame, I mean, the Redline flame. Look at that. Look at that paint. God, the 68 Nova. I only have the newer Novas, um, which definitely look a little bit different than this. I don't even know if it still has the same hood. Look at that. Try to catch up on some comments. You just need a custom Ruby with tan interior. Yes, I do. If I find another Ruby, I am actually going to open it up and make it tan Cory dog guy says grandpa larry is the hookup yes 100 percent all right here we go <laughs> the butterfinger 70 chevelle look at that i have the mustang 
Butterfinger livery right there. But look at this one, guys. Got the gold five spokes white interior i love the butterfinger and i actually like the original butterfinger um candy bar better than the new one look at that it's collector number 98. look at that big a i bought four of them nice lance graham you're an awesome guy i appreciate you yeah christina i see you you see you eyeballing that chevelle oh that chevelle is nice but christina I hope you get your package soon because I threw you in something special in there too. Hopefully you don't have it. And here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is so sick. 70 Chevelle in Spectra Flame Red. Oh, that is so nice. This is my diecast life says, do you like to eat Butterfingers? <laughs> Yes, I do. I love getting my teeth stuck together when I used to chew on it. Look at that tail light detail. Those tires, they need to bring those wheels back. God, that is super clean. Maurice, my man. Black Cat just picked up a 65 GTO, same color as that Chevelle. Nice. Oh my God. King Nut, are you still here? Oh man, look at this bone shaker. This is wicked. This is a Halloween's Halloween release of the bone shaker. Look at that. Clear wheels. It's like a sky metallic blue. Oh man, that is nice. Oh man, there are so many variations of this thing. Actually, it's not a uh, it is a sky like a very very baby blue. On camera, it looks more blue, but in person, it's actually more silver. But man, look at that card art, too. This is the reason why I don't like opening a lot of things. Um, but God, that is sick. <laughs> and then here we go, Roger Dodger. Got the old Roger Dodger, collector number 186. God, look at that. Eddie says, oh boy, Kena is going to steal that. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have the GameStop exclusive Daytona? No, I, I've never even, I didn't know they had an exclusive. Look at this, Roger Dodger right here. That is sweet looking. I love the yellow enamel. The flames kind of intertwined with black flames. That is nice looking. Now let's give a good comparison of this variation versus the newer cast. Look at that. I actually like this one because the exhaust headers come out the top versus these come out the bottom. Look at that. That is a big difference. All right, so I seen an old Matchbox like this. And this motor was this setup with the exhaust headers coming out the top, but it was much larger than that. But look at that. You see a lot of differences. Little similarities. But I like the old one much better. Yes, and this is the uh, Kroger exclusive gold. Yeah, they definitely need to bring back that engine right there. God, that is nice. And here we go. We got the Ford GT40 first edition. I actually do have this one. This is probably the only one that he's going to ever send that I'm like, hey, I actually have that. It's somewhere up on the wall. Oh, sorry. Look at that. This card is in much better shape than mine, though. God, that is nice. Oh, all right, number two. Hot Wheels needs to bring back so many things. Agreed, they do. Kena, peep to your garage code. He's coming for that. <laughs> Wish my Walmart would hurry up and restock the Hot Wheels shelves. Yeah. All right, guys, number three. God, his packages get like progressively just cool and unique. Tina says he's just down the street. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, guys, you ready? Let's turn these back. Oh, my God. 64 Corvette, are you still in here? <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. 
You got the 09 ZR1 in red enamel. Look at that. Got the black top chrome PR5s. Ooh, look at that. You got the ZR1 badging, the Corvette badging. Got the nice headlight details. Very simple, but so nice. Look at that. God, that black top just looks super clean. And this is a 2008. This was the new model for 2008. All right. Next up, ooh, we got the red Grand Sport. Another 2008 new model. Look at that one. Got the red enamel, the meatball with the number two, and the PR5s. Now, I don't have this color variation. I have the red, like the dark metallic red, the silver, and now this one, um, along with the other uh, Zamac and the blue Hot Wheels race team. God, this is super clean. Look how crisp that is. That is nice. Man. All right, we got another Z06, a 2012 completely murdered out. What does it say on there? It says something on the back fender. 160 or something like that. You got the Corvette Z06 in all black enamel Z06 fender badge. You got the black J5s with the red ring. Look at that. That is nice. You see right here, it says like 160 or something on there. It says something. Yeah, it says 160 Chevrolet or Cor I don't know. You guys let me know if you know what that little symbol is on that back fender. It is very hard to see. But this thing, God, that is nice. Look at that. I didn't even notice the gray stripes running down the center like that. That is clean. Dr. Skeeter, what is up from Germany, my man? Welcome to... <laughs> Oh my god, welcome to Cars and Coffee. We're doing the unbox and this go-kart. Oh my oh my buddy has the white one of this. Check it out. The 98 first edition go-kart. Look at that lime green. That is super cool. They need to bring back this casting. Now when they did fantasy castings like this, it was perfectly fine. Like a-okay, because look at the detail on that. It might have been fantasy. Well, it's actually a real thing. Um, but it might have been a little childish. But look how cool that is. Andre Cruz got all them go-karts. Nice. Rebecca, I'm going <laughs> to head out. See you. All right, peace. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, let's see. Let's get caught up real quick. I have the go-kart in the Hot Wheels Classics. Nice. Liver die cast, he took off, I guess. Uh, 69 Stingray says uh, that black Z06 is probably the anniversary model. All right, uh-oh. We got a mystery model, but before we get to this, there are two loose castings right here. This is a 2008 mystery car, second version. The yellow Mach 1, look at that. That is nice. I gotta remove this one later. That is a very nice color. And then we have this one, a 2000 bonus car. Check that out. And this is, yeah, MC mystery car. Yeah, I like how he, he did this. This is nice, but it's a dark red metallic. Got the gold five spokes. Yeah, Mach 1s go hard, like for sure. Santiago, yes, I do consider myself very lucky for meeting Grandpa Larry and everyone else who has been so generous to send me some stuff. Um, of course, I always try to leave it at me send them back stuff in return because I, I, it's just the way I am. Um, but mystery model right here. Let's see what is in this bag. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this 69 Boss right here. This color though. 
That is nice. So I have the other three liveries. I have it in white, black, and blue. And now this beautiful baby blue and orange. Look at that. The, on camera, it looks way more vibrant. But in person, it's a very soft blue. Look at that. Got the massive open hole fives. Nice casting details. Orange glass. Look at that. God, that is nice. This is probably one of my second or third favorite castings of the Mustang. Um, 62 or the 65 2 plus 2 is my top. Um, the 67 68s are one of my heavy hitters. And then the boss, the 69s. It's a little exaggerated, not accurate in proportions, but it just looks so tough. I mean, look at that rear profile. That is nice. God. Making me want to get more Mustangs. Yes, that's the point. Mustang Hunter trying to rub off on everybody because those castings are just amazing. All right, let's see what's in this bag, actually. This might be the original card in here. Yeah, look at that. It's got the old mystery cars. Look at the cars they used to have in the mystery models. Look at that. You got the Mustang. You got that one that looks almost like a Porsche kind of mixed with, I don't know. You got the Challenger. What is that one? The Ranchero. You got the Charger, the Camaro Z28, GT500, the Dodge Neon Drag Car, um, the Pikes Peak Tacoma Passing Gasser, the 69 Boss, which I just got right there. You got the Camaro Concept. The Monte Carlo, the 70 Monte Carlo, look at that. God, there was a lot of heavy hitters. The Amazoom, Surfing Crate, that's where all the fantasy cars are. But look how many real licensed cars there were versus these fantasy ones down here. Look at that. Monster Jam, Zachary Allen says he's still here. All right, I appreciate you, man. I don't know if you asked a question. Yeah, bro. Raul says, did you say Dodge Neon? Yes. Yo, we got to find that. Look at that. Dodge Drag Neon. God. That is crazy. That doesn't even look like the Dodge Neon. That looks more of like the Celica. It looks like maybe the concept or maybe just the street version of it. My brother had a Dodge Neon, like a 97, 98 Neon. This is cool. I'm I'm actually put this in a little frame and have this displayed. Cuz look at that. That's super cool. This is all out of 2008. That is sweet. Got to go everyone. Have a great end y'all weekend says Andre. I appreciate you. Black Cat 2009 says I remember those neon SRTs from the early 2000s. Yeah, I do too. Ooh, and we're right here. He says, save best for last. Are you guys ready? Before you guys leave, or if you left already, check this out. Let's go ahead and open up this one. Oh my God. This is all I see right there. Look at that. Oh my God. No freaking way. Oh my God, dude. Oh, I do not deserve stuff like this. Oh my God. Ugh. Every time I get stuff like this, guys, it's like, what did, What am I doing to deserve stuff like this? Look at this. This is a special edition Parnelli Jones Mustang. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my god, that is just sick. Man. I love that gold signature right there. The card art. Look at that, guys. Frank says it's like Christmas time. Dude. Some I oh my god. These are times where I'm just like, oh my god, just speechless, guys. Oh, let me let me bring you back to my face. 
JDC, what is up? Oh my god, dude, you just... I don't know if you saw it, but... Grandpa Larry just hooked me up with another amazing package. And look at this, guys. Just one more time. Parnelli Jones Mustang. Special edition. The only special edition car I ever had like this was um, my Pontiac GTO. It was a Jiffy Lube, uh, Jiffy Lube exclusive. It was only given to customers at Jiffy Lube. And I sold it to the cubby hole for like 10 bucks. And look at this. God, dude, that is... That is so freaking cool. Oh my God. This guy, Grandpa Larry, I don't know if you ever watch my live streams, but God, I cannot thank you enough. And the funny thing is, all he wants me to look, all he wants me to find for him is the 92 Fox body from Fast and the Furious. Like, that feels so wrong to me, guys. I mean, let, all right, let's 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 just do a quick recap real quick. This is just insane. Jesus. Wait, there's one more. One more freaking thing in here. Here we go. A little something to do when bored. He sends an activity book. <laughs> oh, my. I'm not even going to open that. Like, why... <laughs> I'm not gonna open this guys that is just something I can look back at like 20 years from now and just be like look at this activity book from 2000 and whatever year this is 2010 it's already 11 years old and look at the condition of this that is so cool now if I really didn't hold on to stuff like this I'd just give it to my daughter and be like here you go color this up but stuff like this I don't know it's like sentimental value like there's no price on stuff like this. Like Christina, the stuff that you and your dad sent, just beyond thankful for that because it's forever gonna be in my collection. Those are never gonna be up for trade, up for sale. I don't care if I lost every penny and I absolutely needed a liver. Like I'm not selling my collection. Like it's just something that's gonna go with me or with my daughter. But God, man. Let me catch up on some comments real quick. Um, now you know how you make us feel with your gifts. Very nice. <laughs> oh my God. That's, and I agree with that. You know, that is the one thing I love about throwing in extras. I know Nas um, and a couple other people always tease me because I'm, I'm always trying to one up everyone's package by sending so many extras. It's not that I want to send in extras to one up anybody. It's just, I know this feeling, the feeling of excitement, uh, getting stuff you've never seen before or have had before. And I just love passing that along too. And that's what I want this community to be is the way collecting should be. You trade, you, you pay it forward, you give, you do all this stuff. Not always just take, but also give. And that's the one thing I love about what Dotson Man Diecast is doing with the Children's Hospital. Um, everyone who's been sending him packages to, to give, that is just amazing. And that's what it's all about, guys. Rapid says, hey, if I had enough money, if I send a massive box to each and every um, every one of you in America, my diecast pals, if you wish, because it's you guys who make me, make my life so much better, happier, and to feel. That's awesome, man. 69 Stingray says surprise packages are always exciting to open. 100%. I've never got a package that I was not excited on. Never. Good karma comes back around. I appreciate you, man. It is definitely a great community, says Jorge Delgado. Uh, Monster Jam says do a collab with King Nut. Uh, JDC, yeah, man. Give, give more than you take. Exactly. Um, I love I love getting packages like this guys, but at the same time like I, I always say this I Always feel that when I return it. I got to, I have to one-up this like how can I one up a Collector of this stature. I mean look at this guys. All right, so we got the first edition Ford GT 40 and then 
not to top not to mention that but you got the Roger Dodger with the original tooling Mike my buddy Mike says once in the Navy I got a package I didn't want wait kids show I I misread that oh <laughs> oh my god wait kids show got it <laughs> In the Navy, JDC says custom is the only only way to one up, bro. Yeah. Oh, the 4 GT and go kart are my favorites. Yeah, those are pretty sick, man. You build your collection over time and make it bigger and better. Send Grandpa your entire savings account. <laughs> even if I sent him my entire savings account, it probably wouldn't even come close to what his actual collection or what he sent me is even worth. Chris Martin, hey there, I'm new to this collecting. Welcome, it is a great community. Um, everyone that is within the MHD or Mustang Hunter Diecast community is just awesome. So um, everyone that is in this stream, definitely network with them, get to know them. Everyone in here is just amazing. Um, as you can see with these awesome packages. Um, but like this bone shaker, I know King Nut really wants this one, but I have to hold on to this. Um, there's a lot of bone shakers I've actually recollected because um, I've given some away and I'm like, God, I need to just stick to my casting. So I love the bone shakers, um, but I just kept giving them away and then I'm like, oh, I like them. Um, yeah, everybody welcome him. Uh, Michael Brown, you ever going to build a track? You know, it's funny. Every time I go in there, I look at the track or the starting release little thing that you have. And I'm like, God, I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one. Um, eventually, I will. I'll find a way to have it wrap around here some way somehow. Um, but yes, I do want to get a track. Um, but I don't want to do it because Live or Diecast is starting it on his channel, um, and I want that to be special for him. And I don't want to take that type of um, content or have that in my videos as well. So I definitely want him to bloom and succeed in the art of racing everyone's die cast um but maybe maybe one of these times i will king that says he's coming for that bone shaker <laughs> all right and then you got the 1970 chevelle in the red spectra flame which is a beautiful casting please don't let king Nut take my bone shaker <laughs> uh black cat 2009 says I have about 30 Hot Wheels. I used to collect 118s. 118s are expensive. I used to collect 118s too. Um, then you got the 70 Chevelle in the Butterfinger livery. Super nice casting. Um, and then right here you got the two variations of Ruby. Same wheels, PR5s, but you got the base variation um, in reverse color. You got the chrome in black and the black in chrome which also reflects in the interior, black and chrome. Definitely love those variations. Um, and then you got the purple 68 Nova red line. Beautiful. Um, and then you got the Kmart and the blue edition of the Hot Wheels Racing 98 Cobras. One more guys, one more Cobra to go and I am completely done with the 98 Cobras and I can't believe I'm saying that because I've been hunting those down for a while um, and then you got the two Mach 1's the green one being the Walmart exclusive and the bottom one being the red line which this makes a second variation of that one then you got the amazing Corvettes you got the Grand Sport the Z06 and the ZR1 you got the black enamel red enamel and the red enamel with the black top. Super clean. Everyone's favorite, uh, at least it should be, the green go-kart. Look at that. God, <laughs> so cool. So freaking cool. Then you got the 2000 bonus car, the Mach 1 in red, and the 2008 mystery yellow Mach 1. And then, of course, from my boy Derek Marr, you got the two Porsche Carrera GTs in matte black. And then the red 2010 GT that I actually needed, surprisingly. I can't believe that's the, I didn't have that color. I'm trying to think, what other color do I not have? 
I only have blue, yellow, black, and dark metallic blue for the 2010. So there's a lot more 2010s I need, um, but I'll pick those up at the cubby hole. And then of course, last but not least, guys, is Parnelli Jones. God, that is, oh, that is sick. Oh, and I can't forget the bonus boss Mustang right here. So freaking sweet, man. All right, let's catch up on some comments. Santiago says, welcome in, bro, to card diecast. Yes, the Suns are about to win the game or win game one. Um, Rapid says, Mustang, can you bring that Majorette Nissan GTR over? Um, where is my GTR? I don't even know where that's at. Uh, la, 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 la. If I can find it, maybe I can just throw it over the ocean and send it to you. <laughs> Diecast Clown, what is up? Everybody show my man some support. Kevin's been a great addition to our community. He sent me some amazing packages. Um, just an outstanding collector. Um, Game Plan asked, do you have the Ferrari La Ferrari? No, I do not. Um, I have a lot of the older ones, which when I mean a lot, I mean I only have five. Um, two of them are the 355 Challenge. I got the 308. I got the F40s and the F50s, and that's about it. Black Cat, man, you used to collect auto arts. Man, I had three auto art Mustangs, and those are expensive, but the detail... Frank says track that's next we can all race Hot Wheels Raul says the Lakers almost came back <laughs> Jordan Abrams says late to the party but here now thanks for sharing these amazing rides I appreciate you yeah these are just amazing freaking casts from Grandpa Larry and Derek Marr uh, Michael Brown, y'all still have Kmart? No, we don't have Kmart anymore. Smoking hot, says Santiago. Yeah. Um, Lance Graham, do you have the 67 Mustang Coupe from 2017? You got to let me know which color because I have a lot of 67s. Um, Black Cat, I love the 70 Chevelle. It's so American, 100%. Like I said, it's always been my dream car. Customizers doing a yellow and black gasser. Nice. Yeah, I actually just stripped this 64 Nova because I'm going to be doing a custom on that. Christina M. Wish we had a cubby hole. Um, a lot of states actually do have a store like that. You just got to really find it. Um, the one that I go to that's called the cubby hole, on the front it just says Postal Plus because it used to... They still mail stuff out, I think. I think you can still buy boxes, but it used to be like a half post service and half store, and now it's just a full store, but they never put cubby hole. Um, so it's kind of like one of those, you find it through word of mouth, because that's how I found it. Um, Christina has to go out of town to find anything. Um, like I said, let me know what you're looking for. I will hunt for you. Um, Becca says, what's up? I'm back. Appreciate you coming back. I don't know if you missed out on that Parnelli Jones, but I got a freaking amazing Parnelli Jones Mustang from Grandpa Larry. Hewitt's, did you get the email I sent you today? Uh, no, I just saw the one yesterday that I replied back to you. Um, just sending you the info and then you replied back like, thanks. But I haven't checked today. I'll check after this, though. JT, can I email you a picture of some cars I have if you want to trade? Of course, I'm always open for trades. So just send me an email. Um, RIP Kmart, you will be missed for sure. Chris Martin says, I have Ferraris in the packages from 2000 to 2003. Nice. Ooh, Black Cat just bought a Auto Art Porsche 930 Turbo Blackbird. Oh my God. I bet that thing looks beautiful. Santiago says, take care. Don't have too much fun. Peace. 
Sammy says, Christina, there was just JK's at my Walmart and all the good ones were all gone. Yeah. Frank just customized a Dodge Power Wagon and old Bronco. Ooh, I'd like to see that. Send me an email of that. I will have to look into the possible cubby hole here. Yeah. Um, and also look at antique malls. If you have any antique malls, those are usually hot spots for um, diecast collectors to actually just set up a little booth. Rapid says, I'll finally visit my hobby store. Oh, after a year and a half, I'll, he'll finally visit his, his favorite ho hobby store. Um, Rebecca says, can I see, can I see that Supra? You're talking about the new JK Supra? Frank, do you still need the Mazda RX-3 Super? Yes, I do. Have you found the 2020 Supra? Yes, I actually have it. It's hanging right here. All right, so everyone wants to see the Supra. All right, guys. Here is the Supra, the GR Supra for JKs. Check this out. Really nice headlight tampos. The body lines look so good. You got the Gretty Deco. And of course, no tail lights, but still it has beautiful casting details. Look at that wing. Chris Martin, do you have Facebook? Yes, just look up Mustang Hunter. Um, either Mustang Hunter or Mustang Hunter Diecast. You'll find it on there. Same logo as my channel. You'll find it. Look at that. Yeah, this is super clean. Definitely needed this one. Um, I ended up getting this. I'll show you the other ones that I didn't get to show on video. And let's see, this one. And these. Whoop. All right, guys. So these were off camera. Uh, me and my buddy Raul did a little deal. I bought these from him because he found them. So I wanted to pay him for it. Um, but I got the Porsche 356 Outlaw. The really nice golf livery. It's got the aero discs, discs on there. Still a nice casting. Um, then I got the 69 Copo Camaro with the Falcon livery. And it's got the chrome MC5s. Very, very nice. Nathan, what is up, my man? Yeah, that 356, man. That 356 is super clean. I don't know when you tuned in, but uh, I know you would really like this Parnelli Jones. Look at that. Parnelli Jones right there. Um... And then the 70 split bumper RS in orange enamel. This one's super clean. It's my first split bumper in my collection um, besides the premium. Actually, that one's not even a split bumper. Oh yeah, it is a split bumper. Um, and then the yellow Skyline 2000 GTR. Got that one, that one's really clean. Um, and then yeah, the Supra. The Supra is that super is very very nice casting all right so let's catch up on some comments uh game plan gotta go but thanks loving the live streams all right pre appreciate you man peace out uh christina i need that camaro the orange one or the the falcon Chris Martin, do you collect any cars outside of Hot Wheels? Yes, I do. I collect all die casts. Um, Mustangs from the Green Lights, M2s, Johnny Lightnings, Auto World, um, Jada, Maisto. I collect all out, a lot of outside um, cars. But I'm going to go ahead and hang these up real quick back where they go. Put the Camaros with the other Camaros. 
Cool. All right. What are the questions you guys got, or what are the casts do you want to see? The Falcon. All right, Christina, I will keep my eye out for that Falcon Camaro, and if I pick it up, I will set it aside for you. Do you collect Kinsmart? I don't even know what that is. Uh, looks like ADM by two die cast. The C8 is the only car on earth I need. The yellow one or the red one? Or the Maisto? Let me know. I don't know. I don't know which one you need. Maybe you need all of them. Uh, Reality Reason says, hi from India. Is your friend Raul from India too? i um, not too sure where he's at. The Supra is awesome. Antique shops carry Hot Wheels, yep. Um, Rapid says, I'm sick to, the, to my back teeth of it, Alex. Nothing... Nothing big trouble on Facebook. He is, I don't know, something about, they're having a little side discussion. Rare Dotson, what's up, my man? What is up? Uh, Sammy found the red Porsche. Nice. Static says, I still can't believe I found the Porsche 356 Super. Man, that is awesome, dude. I hope to score that one. Uh, some 7-Elevens also sell Hot Wheels. What? No way. Would have never guessed that one. All right, King Nuts got to go. All right, man. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, text me up. Hit me up later. Chris Martin, I have two Barbie Corvette Barbie Monster Truck treasure hunts if anyone is needing one. Nice. I think a one wave hit Arizona, like the entire state, and then that was it. It was all gone after that. Um, which red Porsche are you talking about? Asks Sammy. Black Cat 2009 or two, 209. Flea markets have good deals on Hot Wheels. Yeah, you can always find good stuff there. Always find good stuff. But man, now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all of these new castings I got. Eddie says, anyone want some big T-bones with fries and that salad? <laughs> He's, oh, he's cooking on the grill. Mm, T-bone steak sounds so good right now. So good. I need the newest red editions. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, uh, the red editions are starting to become hungry again. Christina's hungry now. Yep. When you said steak, my mouth just started salivating. And I finished my coffee already. Still trying to find the Barbie Dream Camper Hot Wheel. Yeah, um, I just got one from Big A's Diecast for my daughter. Um, those are actually kind of hard to find now too. At first they were everywhere. Now they're just completely gone. Christina's always hungry though. <laughs> uh, so I picked up another Hello Kitty combi. Um, I'm going to strip this one. Drill it out, strip it, and I'm actually going to make a pretty cool custom out of this one. Rare Dotson says, let me see your new pickups. Um, from the unbox or just from the store? Because I got some amazing ones from the package today. Um, on the, I'm on the hunt for the split bumper, Camaro, and the Falcon. All right. So Rare Dotson wants to check out the castings I got from the unbox so real quick we'll do another recap so he can check it out um, we got the two Porsche Carrera GTs in matte black and the red 2010 GT definitely needed that actually needed both of those um, that was for my buddy Derek Moore and then you got the Corvettes the Z06 the Grand Sport and the ZR1 got the black all black and then the red Grand Sport and the red ZR1. Um, then you got the Walmart exclusive and the Redline Edition Mach 1. The Walmart exclusive is the lime green. 
I'm trying to get it to where it can focus just on this. Um, got the Kmart exclusive and the regular blue Cobra I needed. The 98 Cobra. So the black one's the Kmart exclusive. You got the 98 first edition little go-kart in lime green. Um, you got the 68 Nova and the Butterfinger Chevelle. The 68 Nova is a red line. The Chevelle, super clean. Um, then you got the Spectra Flame Red 70 Chevelle. Yeah, the go-kart, man. The go-kart's so cool. You got two variations of Ruby. Same wheels, but base variations and interior variation. Um, so this makes four variations that I have of just that particular one. Um, then you got the Halloween Bone Shaker, which is super cool. Love this one. Um, you got the original or the older casting Roger Dodger and GT40. Then you got the 2000 bonus car Mach 1. It's a mystery car. It's in like a red metallic. You got the 2008 mystery car second version. It's the Mach 1. You got the 69 Mustang. This is also a mystery car. This is the fourth color variation I have of this uh, specific Hot Wheels race team deco. And then, of course, last but definitely not least, the Parnelli Jones Mustang right here. Special edition with the gold signature and all that good stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> so sick, man. So sick. Top Ruby... The top one looks darker than the bottom one. Let me see. Yeah, just like like a hint. Just like a hint darker. Like a slight color swing. Look at that. Look at that. I'm making you guys really analyze these now. <laughs> you got to look for variations. Variations are always fun to have because it might be the same car. It might be the same exact deco. Um, but there are always variations. Like if I were to see these two on pegs, I'd be like, oh, I have those already, but not the base variation. So always keep an eye out for that. They still do that here and there. Um, I know the 510 wagons have the different grill. Um, the Hoonigan gasser had the three different engine colors and the grill colors. There's a lot of variations out there. So definitely keep your eyes out. Um, Jorge Delgado says, J case is full of JDM castings and muscle cars. Yeah, I believe 2021 is definitely making up for 2020 with the amount of amazing casts that are coming out. Rare Dotson, whoa, some major Mustang overload. Yeah, 100%, man. This, Grandpa Larry, Grandpa Larry. Uh, I have 11 super treasure hunts. Nice, dude. Congrats. Irving Baez sends some flames. Appreciate you, man. All right, so I'm making a video, or I have a video of me making this little parking lot diorama. I'm going to go ahead and take y'all with me real quick. Turn you guys around. So I actually painted this. Let me move all these around. So I painted this and I wanted a weathered and rough looking parking lot. So it is actually a white, really thick white board. Um, and then I just dusted some black and some silver and a little bit of brown on there to kind of give it a textured asphalt look. And then I taped off the stripes and then I dusted those as well because I didn't want them to be perfect because not every parking stall is perfect. So. Um, building this diorama, this spot right here, I'm probably gonna have like a little strip of grass, a little building, um, but I really wanted a parking lot look. So um, I might not post the video because it's like 20 seconds long, um, but as you can see, it's very cloudy and that's that look I wanted. So just being skillful with the spray, just kind of giving it a nice dust, kind of random, not full coverage, will give you this asphalt look. So let's give you a little close-up of it um, so since the wood or the board is actually textured it kind of gives it a street feel 
Um, and then, of course, you can see from different angles, it starts to highlight more of the whites and the silvers. Um, and yeah, so doing a little mock-up of a little Mustang meet right here. You got the Mustangs. You got the custom GTO, the custom 935. Celica is going to be the next custom or one of my next customs. You got the custom CRX. And this is a custom Nova wagon I did. Um, this, is in, this is an interior and glass swap. Um, so this particular one has usually comes with the orange glass. And I think it's an orange interior. Um, but I swapped it out. I bought one of the baby blue ones. Took the guts out. Took the wheels off because it had orange wheels too. Um, and then did the entire interior and glass swap on that. So you can see it's, it's already been drilled out. Um, and yeah, I wanted that one. So that's going to probably be another custom. Um, and yeah, so got all my stuff. You guys got to stay tuned. I'm actually, I'm going to move something real quick. I'm finishing up this Mustang right here. So these wheels came off of this one. Um, this is a really cool, like, apocalyptic type. I think it's a Ford. Um, yeah, 1949 Ford. So I swapped out this actual moving part drivetrain because these orange ones were on here. And then I drilled it onto the base. So now I just did a full swap on that. This car was originally blue, painted it gray. Um, I added some brown onto the roll cage and I'm actually going to detail the chain and all the other stuff um, but this is all coming together it's going to be a little apocalyptic S550 Mustang right there um, but yeah there's going to be another video coming up guys you got to stay tuned it's a package from the customizer um, I actually had to re-upload it because one of the songs I used was going to give me a copyright strike so I had to take it down change the song and repost it so that's posting as we speak customizer says you're very talented bro i appreciate you man um i've always been into like painting and art and doing all that stuff so um i've always painted things customized things um, on my actual car on random stuff so um, sometimes it's hit or miss sometimes it's like wow why did i even try that it looks horrible um, but that, that little diorama street looks pretty good, I think. Clone Republic, what's up, buddy? I'm doing good. Hopefully everything on your end is good. Um, Chris Martin says, do you collect M2s? I absolutely do. I have a, this whole bottom row is all M2s. Um, all these are M2s. All up there is M2s. I got Johnny Lightning's up top with Auto Worlds. I got all kinds. Um, my Wi-Fi is that bad. I can barely handle an upload. Eight minutes videos takes all night. Yeah, mine's been slow lately. Normally, I can upload a 30-minute video in like 20 minutes, if that. Um, but now it's like taking hours, and I don't know what is up with it. I don't know if YouTube is just getting overloaded or I'm just posting too much. I don't know. Um, but that's why I didn't want to do this unboxing as another video because I'm posting another unbox video. Um, and I just don't want you guys to get tired of my unboxings. Um, so I kind of like spaced it out a little bit. Um, Christina says, I'm going to head out. Hope everyone has a good weekend. I appreciate you tuning in. I will keep my eye out for that Falcon Camaro as well as the orange one if you need that one. Um, Mike says, you both are. Yeah, Customizer is definitely talented. And like I said, stay tuned for my video with his cars that he, he gave me. Um, we actually met in person and he sent me some, or he gave me some amazing cast. And his customs, there's one in there that is, man, JDC, if you're still in here, you would be like, oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Um, Apex, I just found your page and I really like your attitude. I collect Porsche Hot Wheels. Nice, man. I'm glad that you found my page. I'm glad that you're within the community. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I try to bring that positivity, the fun, bring that hobby and fun just back together like it should. Um, Frank says, love the parking lot. Nice. Appreciate you, man. Shirley says, hi. Hi. <laughs> 
Porsche goes hard. Love it. Yeah, Porsches are nice. I only got into Porsche because my one of my best friends, Nathan, um, I don't know if he's still in here, but he's big into Porsche, and I, I collected because I found one, and I was like, man, I got to send him this, and then I started liking them. Um, yeah, and they just grew on me. Uh, Mustang Hunter, I sent you a message on Facebook. All right, cool. I'll check it out after this. Rare Dotson, you can upload 200 unboxings and I will never get bored. Awesome. I love to hear that. Um, that's usually one of my biggest things is like sometimes I'll make an unboxing video and then I'll go check the mail and then I get another box. I'm like, God, I should have just, I wish I could have just waited to put it all in one, but then it'd be one really long one. And then now it's like back to back to back. Um, and then it kind of forces me to like put out a peg hunting video. So it, it's kind of time consuming, but I love it. Like it's so much fun, um, but I just don't want to overrun you guys with all the unboxings. Cause like if I did this one in another video, you'd be like, God, he just posted an unbox. Here comes another unbox. And I, I don't want you guys to think that it's just one right after the other, just nonstop. So um, gave myself a couple days customizer. It'll hopefully that video will be up tonight. Hopefully a lot of you tune in and enjoy it. Um, he sent some amazing stuff. Um, EJ's workshop. All right, everyone. I need to head out. See y'all. All right, man. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, thank you so much for joining another cars and coffee live stream. Mike got to run too. All right, cool. Appreciate you, man. Stay safe. Have a good rest of the Sunday. Um, hit me up later on. Becca, you're the best guy to work with. I appreciate you so much. Um, Rare Dotson says, do whatever you think is good. At the end of the day, it's your channel. If people like it and support you, they'll be there. That's 100% facts. Um, but I've gotten nothing but great feedback and um, support and all that for my videos. So um, I'll continue to do what I'm doing. I'm not going to stop or change what I'm doing because um, I just love it. And I feel like I need to share um, my excitement with you guys because you are all a part of my family. So I want to share that with you. Um, but personally, I'm like, ah, I just posted one. Let me give myself a day or give myself two days. Um, a lot of times I, I specifically wait for a, a video to hit at least 1,000 views. And then I'm like, all right, cool. Now I can move on to the next because um, I don't want to post a video. It's getting views. And then I post another one. And then everyone starts tuning into the latest one. Um, and then the other one falls behind in views. So I try to hit that thousand view, post another one, hit that thousand view. And if I have another one, I'll post it. So um, I'm trying to stay on top of it just so I can keep fresh content coming. Um, you guys just absolutely love the unboxings, which I'm excited for. Um, so thank you so much for all of you out there. Honest Diecast, look at this guy. I don't know how long you've been in here, but welcome. Welcome to the Cars and Coffee. Yeah. Glad you could tune in. Uh, I don't know what him and Static are talking about. Uh, Honest Diecast, guess, guess what, bro? I found my first Super. Yeah, and it was the awesome one, the 356. God, that is nice. I can't wait to find that one. When I do find that one, I'll open up the mainline one. Because if I find the Super of the mainline, I typically open up the mainline. On his diecast, just a few minutes, I'm out working, slanging packages for Bezos. Nice, dude. Hey, Honest, uh, check this out, man. Grandpa Larry came in with some heat. Look at that. Parnelli Jones. This thing is nice. Love the gold signature and all that good stuff. There's a lot more stuff in here, man, but Jesus Christ. He sent some heat. Uh-oh, somebody found the new 510. Collins Diecast found the new 510 and the Dodge Treasure Hunt. Nice. Derek still wants my GT3 RS. Super. <laughs> I need that one. I want that one so bad. All right, guys. What else y'all want to talk about? Questions, concerns, topics, diecast, which, what, you, what you want. Oh man, I need to get a better chair. This stool is not comfortable. Ugh, got my back. Oh yeah, that felt good. 
Ooh. All right, guys, so quick question. Since I'm going to be doing this Nova Gasser and the cool combi, which color or what color should I do this? Should I do this like a metallic, like loud color, like a lime green metallic? Or should I go simple? Because I, I want to make this a little different and unique. And then this one, I might go with like a retro color, like the colors that these used to come out in. I don't know. Let me think. Or let me know. Uh, the Mustang Hunter, I have a Cobra that you might not have. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got to see what this one is. If you can describe it, I can tell you if I have it or not. Hopefully Walmart start restocking new stuff. Yeah, they're completely slacking in my area too. Like I said, when I went today, I picked this up just for the wheels. Um, luckily, luckily I found the DeLorean and then I'm just super glad to have found this one. This was the one I really wanted out of that set. And I don't typically buy haulers that much, but Rapid says, I have a Cobra you don't have. I have multiple Mustangs you don't have. We get it, Rapid. We know, I know you have the stupid Charlie's Angel Mustang I need. <laughs> I need that one, dang it. All right, he wants to see the DMC-12 again. There we go. All right, Eddie, I appreciate you tuning in, man. Definitely appreciate you. Um, have a few Mustangs, no clue if you have them. Just send me a picture of them, man. I'll let you know. I get a lot of emails of people like, hey, do you have this? And a lot of times I'm like, I actually do have it. Pass it over, he says. Um, college, I have, I have posted you some pictures on Instagram of my finds. All right, cool. I'll check them out. Um, Rare Dotson says, it's enamel dark blue with white stripes and some gray real riders with Goodyear letters. Uh-oh. Let me see. You talking about the... Are you talking about the Cobra, the little SC Cobra? Like these Cobras? Or are you talking about the Mustang Cobra? Let me know so I can go over to the spot. Got a new chrome pin. It's great for touching up chrome Hot Wheels. Nice. Yeah, I need to get a new one. Um, ooh, Diecast Tubes working on a sparky blue Kia Stinger. Nice. Sparkly. Not sparky. Sparkly. The little Cobra. All right, so these are my Cobras. And you said it was what? Um, Got to go to work. All right, Shirley, I appreciate you tuning in. J JDC is back. MHD, I was doing a delivery. Don't know if you answered. Did you check out the last live and see the Porsche collection? your thoughts no i didn't check out the porsche collection um i was tuning in and out because i was trying to watch a movie and tune in at the same time i'm gonna have to go back and look static says you opened the 124 fast and the furious cars i don't know which ones you're you were looking at but no i didn't open my fast and the furious cars La Troca that came out this year is sick. Yes, it is. Um, do I have it up here? I actually have it down here. Yes, this one is a beautiful truck. So nice. So, so nice. BJ's Customs, what's up everybody, he says. I want the yellow, I want that yellow C8. Oh, he must have seen it up here. The yellow one. Yeah, the yellow C8 is nice. Let me know what you think. If there's something, some things you still need. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look at it then. Uh, the ones you had by your setup where you're sitting at. Over here? Which one? Which one? 
trying to think. Mm. All right. You got to let me know. Do you have the Muscle Machine Monster Garage Switchblade Green Mustang? No, I do not have that one. MHD, what you got for all my Mustang collection? The big ones. Oh, these? Uh, does anybody have an A86 Zamac for trade? Ah, no, but I did open up mine, which is right here. And the big ones, big ones are right here. I think that's what you were referencing. Uh, there was another question on here. Grand National. Very nice Mustang collection. I appreciate you. With 2020 Supra and White Supra and the other ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about... Yeah, he's talking about these. I'll trade you a Street Creeper Super for your Mustang collection. <laughs> no way. Just found your channel a month ago. Awesome. I love that my channel is kind of getting out there a little bit more. Can you get me the Mercedes Benz 6x6? Oh, that thing is hard to find. Uh, King Nut actually got that one. That thing is super hard to find. Found the Matchbox Bronco. It's way better than the Hot Wheels one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that one, and I just gave that one to the customizer, I think. JDC is going to send somebody a message. Found your B is for build custom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember a lot of people actually came to my channel from that video of my B is for build. I don't want any of y'all to see what's up here, but stay tuned for these casts. These are all from the customizer, all these right here. So definitely check it out. The Falcon Drift Mustang is insane. Oh, that one? Yeah, that thing is nice. I have a stack of other ones. Got the GTR, the Mira. Um, let's see what else is back here. Got the Aston, the Ford Escort, and the DeLorean. Uh, the Bs for build is the one thing that made me stick around. Nice. How about an F40, please, at the cubby hole? All right, I'll try to find another one. Um, these ones actually got gifted. These are, these are F50s. The F40 I actually sent to JDC. Uh, Ludrian says, I started watching your channel a little while ago and I'm already inspired to post my cars on Instagram. Nice, man. That is nice. Always, always glad to hear that. Dirt track cars? Oh, yeah. You've seen that. Like I said, guys, you got to stay tuned for the customizer's upload That uh, or the unbox that I got from the customizer. I got the 70 muscle muscle for car set all the way from the USA. Very lucky, lucky to get that one. Nice. Rapid can't speak when he hears DeLorean. <laughs> yeah, he about lost his mind when he saw this DeLorean sitting here. He's like, oh my God, did you open it? I was like, no, this is the one that Nas sent me. And luckily, because I do have this one carded. <laughs> Roberto says heart with the rock peace nice man appreciate you tuning in yep got these all open I even opened up the new JK's cars um, I opened up that one 
I put, let's see, what other JK's car did I put? Oh, I put the Surf and Turf. Got the GTO. Opened up the GTO. Really clean. I'm going to detail the taillights. Um, a lot of these cars that I really like, I'm going to add a, more detail to them. Um, but I opened up a few. Rabbit says, look, it's right there. <laughs> Rare Dotson says, I'm in your face. <laughs> what's up with Dotson man he hasn't been too active yeah a lot of people have been saying that today I think he's just busy but um, we can all just go check out his channel and drop him a message on Instagram show him support that we're thinking about him uh, diecast tube once I get my cast of my hand I'm uh, open so many cars nice open them up that way I don't have to Diecast cars. Uh, can I have a super of your choice? Uh, no, that is a crazy question. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Rapid says he's in his tent in his garden. His house has been ransacked by boxes. <laughs> oh, okay, let's turn this around. Unless you guys want to see more cars, let me know. But we'll go ahead and give this another probably like 10 minutes or so. JDC, I need you to stay tuned for the customizers video. There is a cast in there that I definitely, definitely think you would approve for your style of customs. Legend has it that zoom ins won't let him in. <laughs> Hopefully, no Indians will hit his tent. Yep, Rapid knows all about them Indians. <laughs> All right, God, I gotta reorganize more stuff, guys. But I am excited to have these. Uh, ADM says I'm subscribed. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for your support. Customizer, man, I'm telling you, um, there is a name I gave one of your customs, and I think you would agree. But it is a name that I'm gonna call it forever. And I might as well just tell you now. Um, it is the Carnage Edition McLaren P1. Uh, right on, brother. Your what does it say? Your casting is almost up on my list too. Nice. Like I said, man, don't rush. You got other things you got to do. Just knock them out. Put me last on that list. I, I, don't worry about me. Chris Martin says, "What's your Facebook again? Just look up Mustang Hunter Diecast. You'll find it on there." I feel like I'm genuinely missing something each and every day when I look out of my window. It's just not there. You're still on the ni the nis the nissy, <laughs> but I get it though, man. Like that's your car, that's your baby. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love you have for that Nismo. It is clean though. Oh. Let's see what else. What else have I got that I haven't shown you guys yet? I think that's really it. JDC says, I got you. Well, I appreciate you, man. Oh, another thing I got were these little sticks. So, like I was saying with that diorama parking lot, um, these are going to be little parking blocks. And I think these are going to be pretty good or pretty accurate to scale. No, I don't have the Moon Eyes bike. I actually saw someone post it and I was like, ooh, I wasn't even, I didn't know that was even in JK's. But they're little bitty squares. Of course, I could use matchsticks, but this whole bag was like a dollar, and there's 500 mini sticks. Um, but they're going to be little parking blocks. So I'm going to cut these, paint them yellow, and they're going to be in the little parking lot as parking blocks. So cool little mini wood sticks. Those sticks are part of my secret stash. <laughs> so yeah, these are going to be part of my parking blocks. Did you make that parking lot yourself? Yeah, I did. Um, let me take it off real quick. Hold up. Uh, I, I made a video just kind of going over it real, real quick. And that's why I didn't post it because it was so short. And I thought, what would be the point of that? Um, let's see. Let's take these off. 
All right, so my wife actually found this. Ugh. It's just a big old piece of wood, probably like for a shelf. And all I did was dust paint it, like black and silver and browns. Um, and then I painted the, or I masked off the stripes. And I wanted it to be very, very raw looking, like a dirty parking lot. So that's why I didn't want full coverage. Um, that's why there's silvers and blacks and browns in there. And then what I'm going to do, hold on, let me turn this around again. So yeah, what I'm going to do is it's a little dusty, but since I didn't prep it, the wood has that texture. So when you look at it, like look at a car on here, it's going to almost give it an asphalt look. Um, you can see the different color shades, the whites and silvers and all that. Um, give it a realistic look. And then with these, hold on, with these sticks, it should be to scale, I want to say. So like I'm going to use these little bitty, probably get the better shaped ones, cut these down to size, paint them yellow, and they're going to be the little parking blocks. Uh, might use this for other stuff. All right, Becca's going to head out. I appreciate you. She's going to try to send out or Becca is going to try to send out package today or Monday. Like I said, no worries. You do what you got to do and I'll just wait um, or I'll be surprised when it gets here. So appreciate you tuning in. Bro says that's badass. I'm going to need one. You need one of these parking lots? Let me know. I'll try to get some more and I'll do it um, right here. I actually want to get like a strip of grass. And then this is gonna be like a little exit, so I'll probably paint a little arrow here. And then this is, I didn't care about this overspray because this is all going to be street. And then I'll paint like the yellow um, street marks and all that stuff, so. Just wanted something cool to have, um, to have some extra cars kind of sit on, do some, I think I lost y'all for a second, but do some photography and all that stuff. Um, but I think it actually came out really good, almost like a realistic parking lot look. Check that out looks pretty legit but yeah so that's what I'm currently working on uh, let me turn myself around um, there's another casting King Nut I don't, oh no King Nut's not here anymore but I'm doing a custom for his dad so his dad really loves monster trucks and I thought you know what he loves Bigfoot so I bought this look at this this is a sweet truck and this actual steering um, four point, I guess it's a four point steering or two point maybe, I don't know. This thing is so sick, but I'm gonna take it apart and I'm going to detail every aspect of this truck. I wanna make it look as real as possible. I might have some brown splashed up there like if it was just off-roading and doing the jumps and all that stuff, but look at that. I want to detail the engine um, little covers that are the intakes there yeah this is gonna be sweet and these bead locks I definitely want to add some detail to that so I think this is gonna be cool um, I think his dad would really like this um, and then the engine in the back I want to try to detail that as much as I can um, you can see it through the top right there it's just in chrome but I want to make this look so realistic so that is my plan. I'm gonna do this custom for King Nut's dad. Um, and we'll see how that comes out. Hopefully, do a special rendition of it. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I want it to look like it just finished doing Monster Jam or something like that. And then this one, hopefully I could finish this one up soon. Um, since I did the wheel swap, took off those ugly orange ones, I can detail the bead locks. Um, there's a lot of potential. Look at all this detail that I can do on this so much stuff the suspension everything on here um, and then the body even though I painted it and all that I do want to make it um, very beat up and abused so it's not gonna look this perfect I just painted it and just let it dry and it's been drying for like two weeks now so yeah this is going to be a pretty interesting one um, like 
You got the chain running across. I'm gonna detail all that. I'm gonna detail the chain here. I wanna really just rough it up. And then since I have this extra one right here, this 49 Ford is really sweet. Um, this one actually has like extra gas tanks and all the reserves on the side. Um, but these were the wheels that were on the Mustang. You can see I tried painting them, but it just did not come out right. Um, but what I wanna do is use the actual rubber tire that was from this, and then I'm gonna mount it on this fake one so it actually has a real tire on there. So um, there's a lot of detail I gotta add on this thing. I gotta put it back together. All the headlights and taillights are at work. Um, I'm gonna try to make this look as crazy as possible. Um, and you can thank JDC for this. So Jay, since you're watching, um, you are the sole reason and the only reason why I got into doing that. Doing the post-apocalyptic or the wastelands or the gaslanders, like you, my man, are the reason. So yeah, he says, I like where you're going with that. Yep, wastelands, definitely gonna be that. Um, ever since I did this one right here, ever since I did this one, I mean, all these tips I did and all the methods I used on this was from JDC's video. Like this screen, all the work I put on this, um, there was a couple things like I did myself, like using Sharpie. Um, since it's bare metal, you just get a sharpie marker go right over it and then wipe it down and then it gives you that like dirty rusty drip look to it um, same thing with the gas tank just colored it black wiped it off real quick and then it left that black stain um, so there's a lot of little tips and tricks i wanted to make a video on it but it's been so long um, that i feel like i shouldn't but i might do it anyways um, i seen this on his little celica so i was like oh i like that little battle x that he put on there um, so yeah Ever since I did this one, it just got my feet wet and now I'm just like, I'm hooked and addicted to doing stuff like this. So yeah, Jay, you you definitely inspired me to do that. And I think I do better on these type of things than my custom customs. Even though my customs I think are pretty good. Um, yeah, that is, it's just fun. Um, God, I really want, you, you guys wanna see what the customizer did? Let me know and I'll show it. Um, it's still gonna be in the video tonight, but this thing, especially since JDC is on here, let me know if you wanna look at it. I'll pull it up real quick and you can give it a good look. This thing is so sick. Rapid says, I love rusted looks. Yeah, I love that. Paul says, I have a few Mustangs you might not have. Um, they are from a brand called Bad Rides. The company is no longer around. Ooh, yeah, send me some pictures of that. Chris Martin sent me a friend request. I appreciate you. Jay says that means more than any gift I could ever receive, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, like you may not think it, but you inspire people, man. Like the customizer, like when I see people do custom work, I'm like, God, that makes me want to do it. And then when I seen your work on those wastelanders and the cars that you build, definitely inspired me for sure. All right, so Rapid wants to see it. Here we go, guys. Look at this. The customizer did this 68 Wasteland. Look at that. Got the tail light detail. This cage up top, that is so unique. And you got like the battle shield covering the back window. The motor detail. Look at this. This thing is so cool, man. Look at that. Yeah, this thing is insane. Yeah, Jay saw him build this too. Yeah, this thing, oh my God. When I seen it in the package, just hands down was so impressed. Because in video, it looks really good. I mean, it looks awesome. But at the same time, when you see it in person, you're just like, oh my God, the you can just see how much time and effort went into this. Maybe he's so good at it, he's just like, bam, five minutes, done. But I definitely can see the work he put in this and the, and the interior too. That is just crazy. 
What interior is this from? Looks like it's like a one person seat. This thing is so cool though. So freaking cool. And there's more to the box that he gave me, man. Yeah, customizer that. Ugh. Reminds me of Death Race cars. Yes, exactly. That When I seen that cage sitting up top and that battle shield on the back window, I was like, oh my God. Instantly just thought of like the worst imaginable death machine right here. Look at that. God, I think it's so sick, man. And of course it is right here, displayed right on top, right where it, right where it needs to be with the other gas lander right there and then of course you do got your other one that you sent me the bentley and the nova gotta have it right there man absolutely love those all right here was a question i seen um charles says that is nice yes 100 percent definitely go check out the customizer um See, there was another one. Love that setup. Need a few of myself. Yeah. I think I'm I think I'm for the most part caught up on it. I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to step up my game step up my game on your build. <laughs> no man, like every creator, every designer has their unique things. And man, it is just so cool to see like what is in the mind of other creators. Um, and seeing where the customizer went with that one and the other ones he sent is just, man, so nice. Can you get me a Cobra or Maserati MC12 from the cubby hole? I could see if they got it. Uh, love the yellow Nova Badman. Yeah, that thing is so sick. That was Hewitt's. Hewitt's diecast built that beauty. Braden Har, what up everyone? Finally got here on time. Actually, no, you're like two hours and two minutes late, but it's all good, man. Appreciate you tuning in. Definitely. Does Cubby Hole have Hondas? The Cubby Hole has everything. They have an entire shelf of Mustangs, Cobra, um, Camaros and Chevys. They got Mopars, they got Hondas, they got um, Porsche, Volkswagen. Everything's like separated. And they, they have a lot of JDMs, man. A lot of JDMs. Ugh, my neck hurts. Brandon B says, hey, Rapid. So, Rapid, you better reply back. <laughs> Monster Jam, Zachary Allen. How long are you live for? About to drop my road to 800 after you're done uh, I got like two minutes left and we're gonna wrap this up we're like three minutes over but I just enjoy doing this and talking with you and all that stuff customized diecast I have Hondas if you want to trade you hear that static customized got some Hondas probably some baby blue ones <laughs> baby blue ones oh man but I appreciate all of you for tuning in. I definitely do. It makes Sunday so much fun. Getting to catch up, show you guys some stuff. Especially those who ask for certain castings that I have or don't have. Um, it's really cool to share with all of you guys and gals. I got a Honda on the table for live or die cast right now. Uh-oh. Can't wait to see that one. All right, guys. We got less than one minute. We're going to wrap this up. But for the final thoughts, let's see. Frank says, I will be out early tomorrow morning for the hunt. Next good thing. Um, pizza's out. All right. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for tuning in so much. Um, I mean, we're in two hours, so thank you a lot. Um, but... As always, guys, great Sunday. Um, definitely love doing these cars and coffees with you, and I'm glad I was able to do the unbox live so you can check it out and enjoy with me during the process. So like I said earlier, guys, stay tuned for my upload tonight. It's going to be the box or unboxing that I got from the customizer 
definitely check him out go give him support everyone in here is a part of this amazing community so network with each other and yeah let's share this hobby together so that is all i got guys thanks so much for tuning in as always stay tuned for next sunday at 2 p.m for another cars and coffee but that is all i got guys so until next time this is the mustang hunter peace